So when we've been given a worded problem, the differential equation has been given to us. But in general, um, in order to model uh, real-life problems, you would first have to think about how one thing is related to another and form the differential equation yourself. And so that is quite a tricky problem uh, to try and find a differential equation that will model uh, the problem that you're looking at, that you're considering. Um, and so part of what we need to be able to do is to take a worded problem and then determine what the differential equation would be. Okay. Now, in some cases, this is relatively straightforward. In other cases, it's very, very difficult. Okay. But part of this is understanding what we mean when we talk about direct and inverse proportion. Okay. What does it mean for two things to be directly proportional? So we've got directly proportional and inversely proportional. Okay. So direct proportion is when we have one thing is a multiple of another. Now, in general, we write that down using what looks like um, almost like an alpha, but it's not quite. Okay, it's almost like an infinity symbol that um, hasn't quite gone all the way around. So we say that A is directly proportional to B using this notation. But in general, we don't actually use this notation as part of the calculation. So what we then say is that that means that A is equal to K lots of B. So one is a multiple of the other. If they are inversely proportional, that means that as one increases, the other decreases. And so what we mean by this is that we use exactly the same symbol, but A is inversely proportional to B is written like this. Okay, So as B increases, for example, you have 1 over B, and so A would decrease, and vice versa. And so this would go into A is equal to K over B. And it's useful to know this in order to understand how we go from a worded problem to uh, a differential equation. How do we get from that step A to step B? And we're going to look at a couple of examples of this in the next video.